Hey, it's how to I'm here, and I'm going to show you how to make a crate in Blender. In this tutorial, we're going to go over some hard surface modeling, including using the knife tool and some other features. We'll also be going into UV unwrapping. This is just a simple crate, and it'll be a pretty brief tutorial. So first, we're going to get rid of the default lamp. We're actually going to keep the cube, because that's what we're going to use as the base. I'm going to scale 2. Use S to scale. And then five to the orthographic view, and then we're going to start by going seven and tab into edit mode, and then we're going to add loop loop cuts. So Control R, make a loop cut, click. Oh my bad, Control Z, Control R, loop cut, and then scroll once up with the scroll wheel to get two cuts. Click, I click, scale, X, 2, that seems good. Now we gotta go over to this view, control R, 2, right click, click, scale, X, scale, Y this time, 2, now just one more. Control R this way, scroll up, left click, right click, scale, Z, 2, and now we're getting somewhere. Now we can, we can actually extrude this now, but I'll just wait a minute. We're going to select, go to face select, and select the faces. And then... We're going to, I believe it's Control I, yes, Control I, and it'll select everything except for what you had selected. And then H to hide. Now we just see this, and we're going to go back into top view with seven on the numpad. And now we're going to use the knife tool. So K for knife, and then I usually look at this. These small blocks up here, and I see it's about halfway between these two, so I'm going to move it two over, so not the halfway between these two, so I'll put it there, and then we're going to do the same thing on the bottom. It's about there, seems pretty good. Might be a little thin, you know. Let's move it out a tiny bit. Move it from this line, this larger line. Oh, that's easy. Okay. So you have the slightly wider line right here. I'm going to do it from the two wider lines. And then enter once you do a cut. And then we just got to keep doing this. Two wider. Enter. K for knife. Wider. Wider. It's definitely the most tedious part, but... Wider, two wider. Enter. Now I'm just gonna move to the next view. I'm gonna hit one for front view. Okay for knife. And if you didn't know, this is sort of the wooden planks on the crate. Now I'm going to go three for side view. Third of the way done. Point. Enter. Okay. And again, I'm going to like the slightly, I guess, grayer lines that I can see easily, and I know they're 
equally apart because the loop cuts we do them systematically. Now we're gonna go control seven to go bottom view. We do it again. There's probably a faster way of doing this with mirror modifiers, but not that I know of that easily. Now, control one, back view. These don't have to be perfect, but the better they are, the nicer it'll look in the end. Now, last one with Control 3. Now we can Alt H to get everything back. And then we're going to go one face at a time. So again, I'm going to start at seven. And then we're going to go to face select. And I'm going to select all the faces except for the three triangles. There we go. And I'm going to do extrude said um, 0 0.05 and 0 0.1 and this is pretty useful which I just learned is in when you're typing in a unit there I'll show you the next one just select everything except for the triangles uh, Hit extrude zero point. You can see down well, down in the bottom left corner it says how much you're extruding. So if I go to zero point one D zero point one, you can see it right there. Enter. Yeah. Do this on the rest of the sides. You see, yeah. There we go. Extrude 0.1. Uh oh. Actually selected that edge. Extrude 0 0.1. Other side. If you're only going to see the crate from one side, you don't have to do all sides, like if it's going to be sitting in a corner like this. But for the sake of the tutorial, I'll do. All of it. There we go. It's looking nice. Oh, I want to do it in cycles render. Good. All right. Now UV unwrapping. Now don't do this, but you might think you want to just like select almost all the sides and just go one by one. But actually, the easier way is to double tap A, select it all, and then actually unwrap. Oops, Control E. My bad. Is marking a seam on the whole thing. And now it's going to treat them all as separate pieces when we unwrap. But we can 
where we don't we can get out of orthographic. We can select edges we don't want. So these two beams are going to be together, so we're going to control E and clear seam. I'm going to do that on all the sides. Fully clear seam. Control E, clear seam. And there's one more place where we want to clear the seam in here. Because in here it's going to be one beam going like right here. Then one beam maybe that got cut here and here. It's just right into it. Clear seam. Alright, I get them all. Nope, one more. There we go. Now we can tab A A U unwrap. There we go. I'm gonna just throw in a lamp to see what it looks like a sun lamp. And rotate it towards the cube. And I'm going to throw on the texture. So we're going to go to materials, use nodes, and I'm not going to go into texturing the box, but maybe a little. Here, I'll split the view, and we're going to go into node editor, and we're going to Texture, image texture, put into the color. And now I downloaded a wood texture from CG Textures, texture.com. And really any wood texture, let's say like plywood or something would work. And now that I have it in, I just found it in the folder. It's plugged in. I can show Z, see how it's looking. Hmm, not that good. Well, oh, I need a scale up. So I'm going to grab the corner again, pull it down. This time we're going to go to UV image editor. I'm going to be able to wood. Tab in edit mode, scale it up. And you can see. My texture, this kind of black seams. So, where is that? Oh, I see. It's right there. Okay. Hmm. It's looking better now. Um, I don't like the color, it's a little too light, so I'm gonna use a converter color, RGB curves, bring it here, turn it down, color a little, yeah, pull it down to make it darker, I just don't want it that dark. You can pull it up to get lighter, maybe actually lighter is nice. And you know that's those lines are really bothering me. I'm gonna back in a second. I'm gonna go ahead and find a texture without those lines. All right, there we go. That's a bit better. Turn up the. You know, it's pretty fine how it was. That's about it. Thanks for watching.